Good day, everyone. We'll be discussing the management of humerus fractures. We'll be looking at the acceptable parameters for non-operative management, indications for surgery, complications, and correct application of a use lab. My theatre lists are full and I don't want to have to wait for COVID swab results. Well, how do I manage this humeral shaft fracture then? Don't worry, doctor. I may just be an intern, but I studied at UCT. We learned this in our fifth year orthopedics rotation. The humeral shaft or diaphysis extends from below the surgical neck of the humerus to the supracondylar ridge. Fractures to the shaft may occur as a result of high energy injury, such as falling from a height or a motor vehicle accident, or as a result of low energy impact, such as falling from standing height, especially in elderly and or osteopenic patients. For any high energy injury, an ATLS approach is required. For both low and high energy injuries to the humerus, it is important to examine the joint above and below, the neurovascular status, paying particular attention to the radial nerve and the soft tissue envelope. Fractures are confirmed on x-ray using both an AP and a lateral view, depicting both the shoulder and elbow joints. Fractures meeting the following parameters are considered acceptable and can be managed non-operatively. This is when there is more than 50% apposition, less than 30 degrees valgus or virus deformity, and less than 30 degrees of anterior or posterior angulation. Thanks for the refresher, Doc. As far as I remember, the non-operative management of a humeral shaft fracture is a mobilization in a use lab with a collar and cuff. A use lab is a plaster Paris cast extending from the acromioclavicular joint around the elbow into the axilla with the elbow in 90 degree flexion. The patient should return for a follow-up in six weeks time and will need repeat x-rays, both AP and lateral views. Callus formation should be looked for on x-ray. Physiotherapy is also recommended during these six weeks and beyond. That's correct. Can you tell me the absolute indications for surgery? Fractures that absolutely require surgery include open fractures, fractures that have not healed adequately with conservative management, fractures that have not united or united incorrectly, and fractures which may have caused neurovascular injury. Fractures for which operative management can be considered include injuries to the humerus with multiple fracture sites, pathological fractures, segmental fractures, fractures to the humerus with ipsilateral forearm or shoulder fracture. Surgical management is often an open reduction and internal fixation using screws, plates, wires or nails. But what about the common complications of the humeral shaft fractures? I remember those radial nerve injury, malunion, non-union, and joint stiffness. Our favorite colleagues at UCT will be showing us how to apply a use lab.
A few take-home messages. Humeral shaft fractures are common and can usually be managed non-operatively. Non-operative management is a use lab and a collar and cuff for six weeks. A use lab extends from the acromioclavicular joint around the elbow and into the axilla with the elbow in 90 degree flexion. Created using Powtoon.